As you know, we have a 2001 Ford Lightning. It ends December 18th. In order to get into it, you shop at onthegas.com. Every $10 you spend gains you one entry. But we're gonna end the year with a bang. We're in a giving mood. Some of you guys might not like the Ford Lightning. So we're gonna give you a cat eye clone. Perfect. That's right, everybody. We're giving away my Aces clone in two weeks. And how do we win this truck, Tiny? By purchasing this decal at onthegas.com and this decal only. It's going to give you 10 times entry to win this truck. And it ends December 3rd. We're going to go live on our YouTube channel December 6th to announce a winner. Perfect. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. We're right here at the Drastic Changes shop. We're picking up the giveaway truck. Man, I, what I say about the grill? Look at this shit right here. Perfect. I know it's gonna look good. I know it's gonna look this good. So I hope everybody that still wanted the original grill, I, I hope y'all like this now, cause I'm liking it. The only thing we're missing right now is the little SVT. Oh, yeah. We got the bumper painted. We took off the, the license plate. It looks a lot more smoother. Good, they give it another look. We also did in the back, we painted the bumper and the handle. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. The handle's better, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot better, yeah. Look at it, Matawa. What do you do? You smooth it down and then you throw the paint? Yeah, we take off the texture, and then uh, we primer it. Then after primer, it gets sanded. That way it looks like sheet metal. You know how the texture look. The deadline to this truck is December 17th and we'll be giving it away December 18th. So you got about a month, some change to get entered. Now, anything that you shop online, anything, hats, shirts, sweaters, keychains, whatever we got online, will give you an entry to this truck. Every $10 you spend, will get you one entry to this Lightning. This truck is ready to go. All we're missing is the, the wheels. I call Mr. Intro. The wheels are on the way. As soon as we get the wheels, we're going to be taking it to the setup. We're going to be cutting the rear end, and it's ready to go. So we're also pimping the two-week giveaway that we got, which is the SS Clone. Now, for this one, it's just a white sticker. So if you go online, the SS Clone is going to pop online. As you click that link, it's going to direct you to the sticker, which is this one. This is the sticker. I keep, I keep getting messages, how do I enter the clone, and it's so easy. So easy. I say it every time that we got a video. All you gotta do is purchase this sticker. This sticker only will get you 10 entries to this truck. The deadline to this truck is December 3rd, which is a Friday. We'll be giving it December 6th, which is gonna be a Monday. We got an event that weekend. We'll be giving it away that Monday coming up. So you got about a week and a half to get into this truck. It's a badass, badass, badass truck. This is clone 24, 26 sound system. The bumper is kind of like the one on the OG. We got the 2008 hood with the 2008 grill. I mean, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. It's a real nice, simple build. Real streetable, it has a cam, has a gears, star, transmission, everything. Real, real nice, real simple, not too crazy, not too low. It just sits perfect. Now this one, don't look as good yet, but it will look good as soon as we get the wheels. We're gonna be putting 22s on this one, intros as well, with the, with the lift, kind of like that. That was a 26 though. What you think, Lalo? Which one you like? Man, I like the paint jobs on, on both are good. Yeah. That one's it's badass. It's nice, huh? It's, it's nice. It's badass. It's a real nice paint job. So, and this one too? This one's pristine. Yeah, this one's, this one's all yeah, the way I mean, The only problem I had is front bumper, rear bumper. Yeah. And just needed touch-ups and that's it. A little bit of love and that's it. We but with some wheels. Once we get the wheels, it's going to look a lot the better. The wheels open or what? We're getting the haulers. They're, they're so, open. They're straight. They're straight bars. Kind of like the ones on uh, Crawfish. You seen the ones on yeah. Crawfish? That's all it needs, man, just wheels. Yeah, and we're going with the sporty look, you know, because it's a sport truck, you know. We want, like I said, we wanted to give away a, a Ford. We have never gave away a Ford. Right Ford to give away, you know, to start is a Lightning. If y'all keep liking these Fords, we'll probably give another Ford away, you know what I'm saying? Probably a, a Coyote or a Super Snake. 
you know, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? Every ten dollars you spend will get you one inch on this one. On that one, it's just a sticker. So you got a week and a half on this one. You got about a month and a half on this one. So shop online, get your entries. Uh, we're gonna be heading back to the shop. The truck's ready to go. The truck's ready to go. There you go. It is. You're not cold. And I was painting right now. The thing is that when you paint, you get hot. Mm. I'm not cold. That's cold. Nah, but Lalo got the thick skin. <laughs> yeah. Nah, cool. when you paint, man, you get kind of hot. Está caliente el horno, qué? Es el, no sé lo que sea, pero andas muévete, muévete. Oh, okay. Did you get the paint for the other one or no? I know. Yeah, right now I'm gonna paint it tonight. Okay, that way y'all can pick it up tomorrow and play with it. So we we are getting a custom color paint for the 2020 build that we got at Fat Fabs. Lalo's gonna be painting the whole truck, but over there at Fat Fabs they need the color, they need the paint because they're gonna be painting the firewall and the tubs. So whenever it gets here, that's painted, and we all we gotta do is paint the paint the outside. Yeah. Which we'll be we'll be taking the truck apart anyways, but it's a lot easier to do it when once the cabs off the frame and all yeah, that, that stuff. Yeah, that way just bring it. I take it apart, paint it. Yeah. Then you, if you want to decide to change things, we can change things. It's gonna be red, so it's gonna be. I'm not gonna tell you what red, but it's gonna be red. You know, I'm a sucker for red, and we, that 2020 has to be red. You know, it's gonna be on the floor with 30s. Hey, I, I truck is bad. This is the first time I've seen like, it in person. Yeah, it's awesome. I've always seen it like in the internet, but never in person. Yeah, it sits pretty it's good. It's bad. Man. It's bad. You wanted to keep it, right? Oh, I was gonna keep it, but then everybody was like, "Give it away, give it away, give it away." Give it away. So we gave it away. You know? Even the grill looks pretty cool. The I was I'm not a big fan of the grill or the the hood, but I start I'm starting to like the hood and the grill looks pretty nice. Once we, let me shut it so. Man, people don't know how hard it is to do stuff like that. It's hard. It takes a lot of work, okay. man. It takes a lot of experience to okay. mold things like that and to do make, it correctly. Even like the hood, like everything's molded correctly. Have you ever seen like they do these too thick? Yeah. But this one looks factory. And, and it looks like a big ass forehead. Yeah, Not this, this one, one but the good. other ones. Yeah. This one looks good. They're it takes it. a lot of uh, talent, man, to do that stuff. This truck, we bought it in the valley. And they were uh, painted, man. They did a badass job. It was already painted. It already had wheels. It already had the cut rear end. installed a cam and uh, all the performance parts on it. But yeah, it's ready to go. Like I said, you got a week and a half to get this one. Shop online, get your ass sticker. You might be the next lucky winner. Every time uh, we get a winner for the giveaways, I ask them, hey, have you ever win something before? never so they're as surprised as anybody so if you don't think you got luck you might be the next lucky winner for this one or this one you know what i'm saying and once we get to 150,000 subscribers we're giving that 2020 away it's not here frank yeah i, I, was, like, I was looking yeah, for it yeah. it's not here it's at the shop we're already ordering parts for that one once we hit the 150,000 subscribers we're going to be actually getting footage of that one working on that one i'm gonna order all the parts right now just so we can have it because it's coming we're getting there pretty quick also we're giving away to 20 lucky subscribers a free entry to this one and to this one so comment down below we're going to choose 20 lucky subscribers and it's going to be one entry for this one and one entry for this one so all you got to do is be make sure you're subscribed uh hit the like button and uh comment down below you know so good luck to everybody we're going to be going back to the shop right now and we're going to go to pasadena because we got to go pick up little uzi truck they took out the motor we're going to bring it back to the shop and uh we're going to see what's up we're, we're going to try to Get that truck fixed. Also, Frank didn't see crawfish, so crawfish is over there. It's a bad motherfucker, man. I told y'all, we all we had to do is just wait a little bit because it was going to get done right. That's a beast of a truck. Yesterday, unfortunately, we broke the rear end again on Holly truck. I think we're going to have to go with a 9-inch. I know it was going to break because it's a 10 bolt right now. I wanted to keep going faster and faster with that 10 bolt but it uh, 10 bolt is not going to cut it so we're going to be putting a nine inch on the holly truck because we don't want to be breaking shit besides that you break something we broke the drive shaft and then we messed the whole track for the rest of the guys that were there testing as well so they kind of hate us right now probably because they took about 30 minutes to prep the track and then i'm the first one to go and then i break it and i spill transmission oil all over the place so shit, it's, it's racing bro it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just shit, shit happens bro. shit happens you know what i'm saying it could it could have been a lot worse where i could have been going 120 and you know hit the wall or something but or fucked up the bed or something but it, luckily it was just the rear end dry shaft we could get that fixed you know quick so yeah let's go like 
It's 36, it's already dark. Darker than Alex. Darker than Alex. What's up, though? What's up, Frank? What's up, dog? What's up, Frank? What's up? Hey. 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 You called Roy, told me you were coming, huh? I know. Cause that motherfucker been inside all day, bro. Just five minutes ago, he come out, started working. Yeah, yeah, he's... Uh, <laughs> he asked me, are you coming? Are you coming? When I say yes, it's Alba Farah. It's Alba Not really. <laughs> What's up, what we doing? Oh, just trying to rewire everything. We need to rewire. Moving everything yeah, over to the switch panel. panel. Yeah, I put a little switch panel on top. I'm running the vacuum line, the air lines for the air launcher. A little bit of everything, man. It's all the changes we're making. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we put that one just a second, but I have it, I have it right there. Put the piece right there. Alright, put it right here. Put it to... Put it right here. Para aquí, para aquí, para aquí. Ya que acabo primero. No, no. It's a switch panel. Okay. Yeah, we're just running everything. Move the computer. Move the computer. Move the computer. Move the computer. So we're gonna move everything there. What is it? Yeah, I'm gonna label them still. Oh, in the middle, you put it okay? Yeah, right in the middle, we'll put a label. So it'll be like the ignition for everything will be the first one, and then the second one will probably be the starter, and then I'll probably go master arm, trans brake, everything else. Well, everything we're gonna need, we'll we'll start adding them. So okay. it's just a matter of you know when I had, we had the key, the factory key when it was a street truck. Oh, yeah. is that a street truck anymore? No uh, yeah, technically. I mean, bro, you close the doors to this thing, bro. No one's gonna ever know you have anything inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides mm -hmm. the turbos, I mean. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> you'll never see. You know, I said it came out. It came out. I mean, even with it, the cage is real, real tight. So it, it, you can't. Once you close everything, man, you can't see nothing. But with the steering, with the, with the motion race work steering column, you get rid of the key. So we had to move everything over to the switch panel. No big deal. Roy's getting his trans brake. It's a, it's a secret. It's a secret trans brake. Oh yeah. Yeah, top secret for the real racers. No, I just real sensitive. It'll react. Quick. That's the one that he's talking about. The yeah. Yeah, yeah you adjust it'll react real quick. So yeah, I'm gonna put the radiator off in the front. Make space for the for the fuel cell. You know what? I forgot to tell this guy to chop this off, bro. Oh, that from there forward. Yeah. Is it a lot of weight? Uh, I mean, it's a little bit, but not crazy. Okay. Not crazy. I mean, we still have other things we can do to try to lose some weight. I don't really want to get rid of the power steering because it's 4x4. It's a motherfucker. Yeah. So we're trying to leave the power steering, but we're trying to look at, see if we can get a bracket to eliminate the alternator and the water pumps. We're going to have no water and then just get a bracket. So it's just the pulley to the power steering only and we can eliminate everything else that we don't need. So it's just a couple little things that we need to do to convert it. Pero como quiera se queda libre de water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be a part. That'll be to the ice box to the back. Yeah, that'll be the, the ice box to the back. Okay, I cleaned it up. I was able to clean up a lot of the, I remember like a lot of little dents. I was able to clean it up quite a bit. Okay. I think it came out pretty good. So. I thought this was, was this like this? Yeah, it's been that way. I don't know what it was. It's a little bit different material. See. I don't know, I kind of know what it is, but it's a little bit different material. Okay. No, when are we gonna tune it? We only have a week and a half away because we're gonna be going to Winter uh, Meltdown. Winter Meltdown. Which is December 4th. The day of the giveaway, that when the giveaway ends, it's gonna be that weekend. This is the event that we're gonna go. We're gonna be testing this truck out there at the at the, at the races. It's an open event. Yes. It's a, nothing but like badass cars, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's it's big tire. They got like ten. Big. I think they got like a ten thousand dollar payoff for big tire. I think ten thousand for small tire. Okay. Uh, and they have a couple of little different classes. These are all fast, fast, fast cars, right? Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and we're just gonna go and see. Well, we're doing a truck class. We're sponsoring a truck class. And we're putting okay. like 500 bucks on top as of right now. Okay. Just try to get some trucks, you know, get the trucks together. <laughs> Hopefully some more guys come out from, from we're a little bit north. So maybe some guys from Dallas will come. Okay. Uh, maybe some guys from Houston. It's about two hours north of here. Where's the uh, event at? Pine Valley Raceway. Lufkin, Nacogdoches okay. area. Just about, just about two hours north of here. I actually want to race like the, I want to race a fast car. So oh. big tires. Yeah, big tire. Yeah, yeah. And a small tire. Actually, tires. me and Roy talked about that. You know, we didn't consider leaving the radios on there, or we just go ahead and put the slicks on. And, and it's hard. You know, it's, it's tricky. Uh, the surfaces. We don't really know how the car, the trucks, gonna react with these tires, which we know they hook. They hook good on the street. They've hooked. You know, we went pretty good. But that type of surface, I wonder if we're not better off just putting slicks. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's the hard part where we gotta test them out. So I this mean, is still at a, this is still a track, but it's not prepped. Yes, it's at a okay. track, but it's not prepped exactly. Yeah, I mean, I think there might be some stuff there. They'll kind of scrape it, you know what I mean, or kind of leave it the way and it these is. Don't work. Well, we're gonna. Yeah, we don't know. We just gotta wait. Yeah, I mean, they worked before. 
when it was a 408, you know, single turbo, yeah. they were good. But we're kind of getting into a new deal where, you know, you don't really have a lot of guys that have the experience. This type of power, you know, we're putting on some good power, man. And we know Hoosiers, everyone does Hoosiers. I mean, they hook better. But we, we do know that with the, with the slick, it's, it's a slick, you lose a little bit of mile per hour. Mm. So it's kind of one with the other. You know, we'll be able to, if this thing hooks, if it hooks, this tire will be faster than a slick. Okay. If it hooks. But if it don't hook, well, we lose. Yeah. So <laughs> if, it, if it hooks on the street, it's a possibility that it hooks on the tr at the track. Or no, it's, it doesn't work like that. So I, I, the street is real, real tricky because it depends on the surface. Okay. So like here in Houston, we got a lot of concrete, bro. Yeah. And it's good concrete. Everywhere we test, there's badass concrete. And, and really, good concrete hooks better than a no prep at a track. Oh, I got you. I got now, you. but you go to asphalt, like some people have asphalt. Now, asphalt and the track are a little bit more similar. Well, let's go but try asphalt it, and, it, and, and, well, it's hard in Houston. Well, the good thing is where the truck was built, they got a lot of asphalt over there. Gotcha. So Jason has a couple of spots. Worst case, we might just take a little trip down to Corpus with Jason, get on some asphalt, you know, let him mess with the suspension okay. since he, he did it all. If, if we have some issues, you know, we kind of can't get it to do what we want. We got to do all this in a week and a half and still tune it. Yeah. So, so I say I finished wiring, I gotta still plumb the fuel system on it. So I was wiring the air launcher on there right now. Actually, I was gonna ask you, I'm trying to figure out where to put this switch. So this switch, and what to remember, every time you're gonna run this truck and wherever, and it will always be there for yeah. sure, but just so people, you know, this this activates the air. It's okay. all, it's, it's not a spring loaded, it's air loaded. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's a canister you fill with air. It goes with the CO2 bottle that we use for everything. And this is like an on off switch. So this thing is, is off. It's not gonna throw it's it. It's not gonna throw the shoe. It might fall and eventually it'll come out, but it won't throw it. So I'm trying to just think of, I'll try to find out where to hide it. It'll be kind of like from just this deal. I'll maybe think maybe like just on this side and just maybe like right here next to this. I was thinking, but I don't know. I mean, I was gonna wait for you and see where you liked it. So I know you. Probably somewhere right here, right here. Down there on the bottom? So you can Down on the bumper? Control. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking about that too also. That's to be visible, remember? Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's visible. It'll be visible, bro. Oh, if it's visible, well, then just put it right here, right? <laughs> aquí, we'll see it. Aquí, no hay lo, aquí, everybody's gonna see it right here. <laughs> no, no one's gonna miss it. Nobody's gonna miss it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I'm gonna stay quiet. I'm not getting above in that one. I'll take yeah. that off. It could. It could. <laughs> I mean, we're putting air launcher, but I really feel like you have to have the right people, bro. They have to understand that it's, mm. and I, we talked about this, it, it does get real serious. And we start, we're gonna start getting real serious all the builds. This one, Moonshine, right. Crackhead. Serious, period, when you're racing. Yeah, because it gets dangerous. Yeah, if you, you gotta know. be and serious, even, even in Frank's truck. Hey, bro, we're still going 150, bro. You know what I mean? Like, in a full-size truck that was meant to fucking haul lumber, not go 150 mile an hour. lumber, bro. <laughs> lumber hauler. Hey, bro, I have one, bro. Plywood in the back, let's go. But, I think safety is one of the things that um, we, we really need to start hitting a little bit harder, just right. be more serious about it. Uh, Frank, y'all be good? Be good? Yes, sir.